So I highly recommend you keep coming to Ireland and Wales and travel around. But guys, I know it's really packed in here. It's really warm. So we're going to rock straight on with our second half of the show. We have a brilliant second half. Our first act. I actually love this guy. I've always heard him seeing the comedy the last couple of months. And every time I've seen him, getting better and better and better. You're going to absolutely love him, guys. So his name is David Scullion. I want you guys in the back of the room to start down with applause. Start applause in the back of the room. How's it going? I know what you're thinking. I didn't know Jesus did stand up. <laughs> you know? That's my new thing, freaking out Christians. You know? They follow me around, I have to shoo them away like cats, you know, like skip, skip, skip. But uh, it doesn't help that I go to Mass on a Sunday morning, you know, <laughs> with my white bed sheets wrapped around me. <laughs> I just hover up the aisle on an electric skateboard, just... <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Nobody's more scared than the priest, though. That's the truth. He's like, holy shit, this fucking shit is real! You know what I mean? I've been touching everybody! <laughs> and it's like, people think I'm wise. People stop me on the street, you know, and they ask me for life direction. But, like, to, fair, to be fair, it's normally just guys looking for heroin. You know? <laughs> So uh, that's Dublin for you. She's a romantic city, Dublin. I like it because, you know, you can still travel around the city on a horse and carriage, you know, on the cobblestone streets, driven by the same guy that stole your bike that morning. <laughs> You're like, cheers, mate. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's hard. It is hard to get a, a place to live here. You know, I live in a share house. And if, it's fucking hard. Like, you, and it's, you show up to these places. There's so many people living in these dumps. It's mad, like I showed up for the interview and there was just like, I opened the door and there was just like eight people stacked on top of one another inside a council bin, you know? They're like, do you want to see your room? And you're like, yeah, okay. And they're like, okay, your room is just a, sh a, a, a shoe box crammed underneath the U-bend of a toilet, you know? You're like, what's that? And they're like, that, that's a bath mat made entirely out of pubic hair. You know? We all put a little something into it, you know? It's a share house, we share it. So, uh, no, Dublin's good. And if you're international, just so you know, this isn't like your average traditional Irish pub. You'll know you're in a traditional Irish pub when I'm the best looking woman at the bar. <laughs> right? <laughs> You'll know. But you have to give the Irish credit, because it's only, you know, we're getting better looking, we're getting healthier the Irish. And you have to give us credit, because it's only like two years ago since we stopped eating coal. <laughs> and stood upright for the first time. We're like, oh, this is how it works. Or, you know. So yeah. But now, do you remember, like, when you were a kid? Whenever I grew up in Ireland, the idea of eating healthy was uh, finishing your bread crusts. <laughs> do you remember that shit? Didn't make any sense. Like that was the cure for everything. You could come in from outside. You're like, Dad, I think I broke my leg. You should eat your fucking crusts. <laughs> I got hit by a car. You would have seen it coming if you had eaten more carrots. You know? It's like black magic shit. It's mad, you know? I was half expecting to come home from the hospital with my leg and a splint made out of two baguettes. It's like, you know, uh, Mad. There wasn't a lot of love back then, them old school Irish dads, you know? I moved to Australia when I was 21 and discovered avocados and emotions in the same day. <laughs> Do you ever try and hug your father like as a grown man now? It's like, it's like hugging a slightly warm lamppost. It's just like, oh, you know, did you service your car? You know, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But you got, like, those men, they come from a different time. Your, your father comes from a time when if he had shown any emotion, he would have been eaten. <laughs> so, yeah. I like the way that you're, she's helping. <laughs> eaten, he said eaten. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else am I talking my, my, like, I, I have dyslexia, that's why I'm looking at my hand. Look at the scroll written down my hand. I have a wild bad memory, fuck. Um, but the thing with dyslexia is the other thing that people don't realise is um, one of the ways it manifests is like you can have wild bad handwriting. You know, terrible. And my, like, to be honest, mine isn't as bad as it used to be. But a few years ago, I sent my mother a Christmas card and she thought I'd been kidnapped. <laughs> You know? You'd think I wrote it high on LSD in a World War II trench with a fucking gun to my head. Just like, oh, help! You know? 
She was phoning the police, you know, then the police were going like, what does he look like? And it's like, it looks like Jesus joined the IRA. <laughs> you know, somebody's got him. <laughs> Colin was talking about uh, disabled toilets. Like, uh, some people don't think dyslexia is a disability, but I tell you what, it's not stopping me from using a disabled toilet. <laughs> but I love a disabled toilet. There's so much room. It's amazing. There's like handlebars everywhere. You can put your legs up. <laughs> It's like chandeliers everywhere. It's like, oh, it's so decadent. There's a button you can push if you want anything. I oh, mean, just push that. You're like, oh, excuse me, can I have a sandwich? They're like, oh, I don't think you're using this properly. Have you ever pushed that button? Fucking push it. I swear to God. SWAT team shows up. You know, like Colin Farrell will just climb through a fucking vent with a screwdriver, a defibrillator, and a burrito. You're like, yes, yeah, sandwich! <coughs> But then there is that awkward moment when you walk out and you're clearly not in a wheelchair. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And everybody's looking at you, just going like, "Hey!" And you're like, "What?" <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, what do you do? I'm dyslexic. To dyslexics limp. And they're like, "Yeah, we limp." Fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Good day. Uh, yeah, it's nice. People with foreign is like, uh, it's good. I uh, yeah, it was, it was I was talking, thinking about my dad there. Yeah. Um, do you remember when you ran away from home when you were a kid? Yeah. Like, you're so stupid, you haven't a fucking clue what you're doing. You just like fill your school bags full of tins of baked beans, you just run off into the rice. Ah! Then you get there and you realise you forgot a tin opener. Like, ah! I haven't been away long enough, I'll just go back home for dinner. I ran away from home so much as a kid, my family thought I had taken up jogging. Yeah. They're just like looking out the window going, why is he always running and crying at the same time? Maybe he's detoxing. <laughs> but I really want to, like, I, I, I have, like, properly got off the grid, like, you know, I lived in the woods for a while. You're looking at me like you look like you just fucking came from it. <laughs> I did, I, I lived in, in Peru, I lived in the Amazon for a while in a hut, and, uh, yeah, it was fucking mad, like, you realise how white you are. <laughs> it's like, you don't know what you're doing. Like, uh, the only survival skill that I had at that time was uh, checking which way the wind blows by throwing grass in the air. <laughs> Doesn't really cut it. And when that grass lands back in your face, the only thing you've confirmed is you're going to get eaten by bears. <laughs> you know? Or like that movie Into the Wild, they just find me laying dead in the cabin floor, you know? Just killed by my own homemade jam. <laughs> Not even poisoned either, it just fell off my poorly constructed shelves. It's like, <laughs> old Topsy would just read Death by Marmalade. <laughs> I love your laugh, it's fucking brilliant. Yes, sure. shut up. <laughs> so, uh, what else going to talk about? Did you just have a good Valentine's Day? No. Oh, so bad. Oh, I got some for you, man. I, I'm single and, uh, I didn't mind it, I had a great Valentine's Day. And this is why I had a treat for myself. And you have to do this at least once in your life, is you must get high and go to a yoga class. <laughs> ah, it's the best! It's so, it's like masturbation for your whole body. It's like, oh my god, I can really feel my toes, you know? <laughs> do you ever have that? You get high and you start saying stupid shit like that, and you're like, oh, when was the last time you really appreciated a banana? <laughs> <laughs> You can never do that in public, though. Get, don't get high and eat a banana in public. Like, you will get fucking arrested. Damn, you do that under your bed sheets with a torch. You know? But do get high and go to yoga class. But you have to be careful, because if you get too high, you might try and put someone else's leg behind your head. You know? And that's shit ain't on. But, but uh, a friend of mine... I don't smoke a, lo a lot of weed. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't. My friend gave me some weed and he goes, Dave, it'll help your creativity. Uh, but to be honest, the only thing I've figured out is more ways how to eat hummus. <laughs> Love hummus. It's fucking me. You get high, hummus will change your life. It's amazing. And I've got it refined down. You only need two things if you're high with a fucking. You only need, uh, you know, you only need a lemon and your finger. It's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> You're already in bed with the hummus. The fucking lemons in the kitchen. You're like, ah, oh, I can remember what lemon tastes like. <laughs> you know? But if you're paranoid about uh, going to yoga, if you're paranoid about being high and being in public, don't worry about it because nobody will bother you at yoga class. You know, the receptionist might wonder why there's hummus stains in your sunglasses, though. <laughs> you know? It's seven o'clock at night. You know? But uh, 
it's good. I like that thing though when you go to yoga and they tell you other places that you can do the poses <laughs> in your day to day life. And you're like, yeah, sure, I always wait for the fucking bus like this. You know what I mean? Some old woman looking at you, is that cunt, is that cunt drunk? No. Or they tell you to use your imagination, like when you're tied up like a fucking pretzel. They're like, oh, this is just what you would have looked like when you were a little baby, you know. Just just laying in the park in the grass. And you're like, yeah, if I got struck across the head with a fucking football. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. We... But the, the only reason I started smoking weed was it uh, helps you sleep. No, it's supposed to help you no, right. Don't believe me. <laughs> it's supposed to help you sleep. Uh, I have trouble sleeping. I think a lot of people do. Uh, a friend of mine goes, Dave, you need a routine, you need a bedtime routine. I was like, I do have a routine. I just climb into anxiety bed and re red and red sheet, red sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Grab hold of my favourite genital and hope for the best. Just, ah. You know what I mean? You just lay in bed, hold your genitals like you're making your first Holy Communion. <laughs> that makes no sense, but I had to say it because it came into my mind. Uh, and that's dyslexia for you. So yeah, uh, it doesn't help when you're trying to sleep though if you bring your laptop to bed, which seems to be a common thing. Next thing it's like three in the morning, you're 20 tabs deep into YouTube watching a fucking American butter and toast with a GoPro strapped to their forehead. <laughs> you're saying, I don't even know who I am anymore. You know? Or that's if you have the willpower. You could be a lad, you could be a guy in bed 20 tabs deep into someone else, you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking porn. <laughs> talking about. Or adult films, as they like to be called now. I like it, the adult films are like, ah, oh, starring Jenny Fox and Amy. Like, don't pretend you don't know the names. You know what I mean? It's like Jenny and Amy and Matt, and you're like, oh, and there's Matt's head, he's like, oh. And I mean, you're like, oh, Matt, settle down, son. Nobody wants to see your face unless someone's sitting on it. <laughs> New joke, new joke. Um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Right, I better wrap up, guys. I've been on too long. Um, what else to tell you about? I started playing the guitar recently. On that guy, like, look at this head on me. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I hated guys like me if I had a guitar, but I don't. So yeah, I'm learning to play guitar. And uh, you, I'm 33. Like, you're about to be learning. Uh, you should learn that when you're in school, you know. But I went to Catholic school and. Uh, Play guitar in Catholic school, somebody's gonna get pregnant. <laughs> Go on. The only thing we were allowed to play at Catholic school was the fucking tin whistle, which everybody knows was designed by the Catholic Church as a form of contraception. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking the tin whistler, alright? It's never happened, you'll never hear. Jenny won't come back from a gig like, oh, it was amazing, I fucked the tin whistler. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're like, get out of here, mate. You're like, you're like pie, pie. the Pied Piper was a pedophile. Get the fuck out of here. Shoot, skip, skip, skip. You're like, you'll never see a, a tin whistler in the cover of Rolling Stone. You can't be, se you can't be sexy with it. What are you going to do? Just be like, I'm making my first Holy Communion. See, it was a, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> the only thing we were allowed to do was do uh, Irish dancing. But if you're Irish, you know that Irish dancing was invented by Catholic children as a form of martial art. <laughs> to defend themselves against the local Catholic priest, they're just like, get the fuck away from me! You know, I mean? <laughs> you know? I'm not touching that! <laughs> Keep your arms by your sides, lads! Keep your arms by your sides! Keep a tight perimeter, they're always next to one another next to <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for tonight! For David Scullion. If you want to see more of David Scullion, get him on Instagram at David S. Scullion.